Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, November 6, 2008. I'd like to continue our survey of VisualWorks widgets by going to the Spin Button widget, which has a fairly easy to understand kind of usage case. You want to put this down when you have some value that you want the user to be able to increase or decrease in a fairly straightforward fashion. Probably not so good if you're looking for numbers, say, in the range of 1 to a million. Perhaps more useful if you're looking for times in a given range or numbers in a small range, like, say, 1 to 10. So as usual, you give it an aspect. So I'll say range value here. And then you can give it a menu if you want, and then an ID, which I will. I usually give these the same ID as I give them aspects, because that makes them easier for me to remember. Now, you can pick a variety of things here, string, symbol, text, numbers. I'm going to pick number, because it's fairly simple to explain. And I'm going to pick a value of 0, meaning the format is whole numbers. So I'm going to give it a low value of 1 and a high value of 10. I don't want it to wrap around, and I want the interval to be 1. So I'll apply that. And now let's go ahead and do an install. And then, as usual, define. Since I only have that one thing selected, it'll give me just that. So now if I do the open on this, you'll see that I get a spin button where I can press the button and it goes up, press the button and it goes down, and you'll notice that even though I keep pressing it, doesn't go below 1, and if I toss it up, it won't go above 10. So it keeps it in that range. Now to see how that looks on the inside, let's go ahead and hit Browse. Actually, that'll give me just the browser on that aspect. Let me deselect and hit Browse, then we'll get the whole class. So we'll take a look at the class and we'll look at range value, which is going to be set as a range between as 0 as value. And the behavior isn't here. The behavior is actually built into the widget, which is why you don't see anything right here. So you're not looking at the behavior here. It just specifies that it starts at 0. I could start it at 1 to keep it in the range, so I can fix that that way. Now having done that, you'll notice that if I do an open, it starts at where I expect. So all the validation is done inside the widget as opposed to here in code. And that pretty much wraps it up for the spin button. As I said, you can pick times and date stamp, time stamps and various things of that nature and have the ranges set that way. So if you wanted somebody to pick a date and a range, you can do the same kind of thing. We'll leave that for another time. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.